Hi everyone, welcome to Greek Mommy Cooks. My name's Helene. Today we're making spanakopita. This is definitely a fan favorite. I know how to make it pretty well, so I'd like to teach you how to make it too. It's a filo dough pie filled with spinach, onions, feta cheese, ricotta, eggs, salt and pepper, and a lot of yummy herbs. So let's get started. I've already sauteed the onions and garlic on the stove. And then I add in the herbs, which are dill and mint. I used fresh dill today. You can use dried if you want to. Once that's all sauteed, we're gonna mix everything together. We have two eggs, I'm gonna put them in a bowl. We have one cup of feta cheese, add that in too. Then we have a half a cup of ricotta cheese. Then you're just gonna mix it all in here. And then when your spinach mixture is cooled down, you're going to mix that in here as well. Now we're gonna mix the spinach mixture that's cooled down into the cheeses. So you slowly add it. This already smells so yummy. All that fresh dill and mint. So we're just gonna blend the mixture really well because this is going to go inside the filo dough. Now it's time to put the spanakopita together. So I have my filo dough and it's from the freezer. However, I thawed it overnight and made it room temperature. Then I covered it with a damp towel to keep it moist. You cannot dry out your filo dough or it will crack and be difficult to work with. So I take one sheet of filo and I place it over an appropriately sized baking dish. I like to use this size when I'm baking just for my family in this amount. So I put one sheet down and then I have melted butter with a pastry brush and I'm gonna lightly brush around the filo dough, making sure I especially get in the corners of the dough. You don't wanna skimp on this process. Also, get yourself a nice pastry brush. Don't get the kind with the loose uh, hair because it might end up in your filo dough. So, you need another sheet of filo dough over the one that you just buttered. And we're gonna do about six to eight on the bottom. I like to have a lot of layers in my filo dough because they're nice and crispy when they come out. You might wanna keep in mind, you can crisscross your filo dough. And then eventually all the excess is gonna get folded over and it's going to be super crispy and delicious. The next step is to put your filling right over top of the buttered layers. This is gonna be so delicious. And as you can see, it's really not that hard to make. You just need to practice to get good at this. Now I'm going to fold over my excess layers. And I'm also definitely going to butter them and add some more filo dough. The next step is to add a few more layers to the top. You don't wanna skimp on this part because you want a nice crispy top layer. The filo dough is still definitely moist from the damp towel that was over it. So it's perfect for layering. Now that we've finished buttering all the layers, we're gonna put it in the oven on 375 for 40 minutes. When this comes out of the oven, it'll have a light, crispy consistency from the filo dough. It'll be golden brown. Thanks so much for watching today at Greek Mommy Cooks.